Hey Colts Nation, welcome back to another video. Today we're diving into the final injury report for the Indianapolis Colts as they get ready to take on the Pittsburgh Steelers in week four. Unfortunately, things aren't looking as good as they did before last week's game against the Chicago Bears. But hey, there's still some good news to cover, so let's get into it. First off, let's talk about the players who are officially ruled out for this game. Sadly, two key players won't be joining us on the field, Quiddy Pay and Kenny Moore. Quiddy's dealing with a quad injury and didn't practice much last week. He got hurt during the game, and now he's set to miss his first match of the season. Kenny Moore also picked up a hip injury late in the game. He's been a consistent presence for the Colts, so it's definitely a tough break. Now the big question is, who will step up and fill that nickel spot while Moore is out? Moving on to other injuries, there are a few players listed as questionable or limited in practice. One name to keep an eye on is Braden Smith. He didn't practice on Friday, which makes it the second time this week. But there's a bit of hope here. He did have a full practice on Thursday, so maybe the team is just giving him some extra rest after his off-season knee surgery. If Smith does play, it's going to be a big deal since he'll likely face TJ Watt for most of the game. Let's hope he's good to go and can help the Colts hold their ground. Now, keeping an eye on the right tackle position, if Braden Smith can't play, I'd expect Matt Gonzalez to step in. Hopefully, it won't be Blake Freeland because, honestly, we saw how that turned out last year. Blake struggled when he had to fill in, and he hasn't shown much improvement during the preseason or training camp. So, I'd feel more confident with Gonzalez taking over, even though he's just a rookie. Moving to the center position, Ryan Kelly has been dealing with a neck injury. He practiced on Wednesday but missed both Thursday and Friday, which is a bit concerning. Neck injuries are tricky, so the Colts are being cautious here. If Ryan can't play, Danny Pinter will likely step in. He's done it before and held his own when Kelly was out, so it's good to know we have a reliable backup. Another name to consider is Tanner Bowles, the rookie center the Colts drafted this year. He played a lot of snaps at Wisconsin and has experience in that role. If it comes down to it, we'll see who gets the nod, Pinter or Bowles, if Ryan Kelly can't suit up for the game. Definitely keep an eye on Taquan Lewis. That situation might come down to a game-time decision. He practiced on Wednesday, but was sidelined on both Thursday and Friday due to a calf injury. Although he hasn't been officially ruled out yet, his status is still up in the air. If Lewis can play, he'll be a crucial addition with Quiddy Pay already out. If not, it's going to be a tough spot to fill on the defensive line. If both Pay and Lewis are out, I'd expect to see Latu Latu starting at one of the defensive end spots. Losing Lewis would be a major blow, as he's been one of the stronger defenders for the Colts this season. Hopefully he'll be ready, but we'll just have to wait and see. Speaking of Quiddy Pay, Coach Shane Steichen mentioned he's considered week to week, so it's possible we won't see him back for a few games. This opens up opportunities for players like Latu and Taekwon Lewis to step up and show what they've got. Overall, the Colts have officially ruled out two key players and have several others listed as questionable, particularly on the lines. The positive side, the Colts do have some depth in these positions, but the biggest question remains, who's going to fill the slot corner position and perform at a solid level with Kenny Moore out? That wraps it up for this injury report. Let me know your thoughts on the Colts situation going into the Pittsburgh game. We've got some big injuries to keep an eye on, but I'd love to hear what you think in the comments. Thanks for tuning in, and as always, go Colts.